Hello friends, I am Dr. Pawan Gulani and today I am going to present a case of 22 year old patient trying for the conception for 1 years had a history of single abortion and DNC and later presented with secondary infertility hypomenorrhea. Now the ultrasonography of this picture was suggestive of some hyperechogenicity in the uterus. Now when we tried to do the hysteroscopy for this patient, we saw something very surprising. When we entered inside the, uh, uh, we crossed the internal loss and we realized that there is something abnormal you can see inside the uterine cavity which doesn't look like any other normal uterine intrauterine pathology. When we looked at it closely, we realized that these are nothing but the sheets of the bone that is completely covering the endometrial cavity. And these sheets, friends, are uh, called as osseous metaplasia of endometrium. The terminology of osseous metaplasia of endometrium itself suggests that due to some external factor inside the endometrial cavity, the, there is transformation of the endometrial tissue into the bony tissue. Okay, so this trigger can be hormonal, it can be some irritant or it can be some toxic stimuli on the endometrial wall. Because of this stimuli, when endometrium is trying to undergo healing and when there is constant irritation, the because of few factors, this endometrial tissue undergoes transformation or metaplasia and tries to convert into the osseous tissue. This osseous tissue forms the sheets of the bone that lies on the endometrial surface. One of the most common differential diagnosis for this pathology can be in a patient who has undergone second trimester abortion and few bones from the fetus has left inside the uterine cavity. So now the osseous, in osseous metaplasia there can be a varying extent of the endometrium covered with the bone. In this case as you notice the entire endometrium was totally covered with the bony pieces. So diagnosis of these patient is most uh, likely done on the ultrasonography where you notice the hyperechogenic foci, irregular foci in the endometrial cavity. These patients generally present with hypomenorrhea, infertility and chronic pelvic pain most likely that occurs after history of previous abortion. Treatment for this patient uh, is obviously doing hysteroscopy and removal of all the bony pieces with the help of hysteroscopic grasper. But at times when the sheep, these bony pieces are larger, then removal of these bony pieces with the help of hysteroscopic grasper or with the rosettoscope becomes very difficult. In that case, you, one can always use a uh, OM forceps to evacuate the uterine cavity with this bony pieces. Here, while removal of this bone, bony piece, you can notice this tissue is arising from the basal layer of endometrium. That means it happens at the time of transformation of basal endometrium and that happens because of the chronic irritation on this tissue. While doing the procedure, we have to make sure that we rem remove even the smallest piece of the bony tissue out of the uterine cavity to give the best result to the patient. Post hysteroscopy, we can give estrogen therapy to this patient for normal healing of the endometrium. 
At the end of the procedure, entire uterine cavity was free of osseous tissue and both osteas were normal. Laparoscopic evaluation suggestive of bilateral patent fallopian tube and normal pelvic organs. At the end of the procedure, you can notice the number of bony pieces taken out of the uterus. Two months after the procedure, patient conceived and delivered a healthy child after 9 months.